What was your favorite part? The piano guy. My favorite part was the intro and just um, how Ravi connected us all and gave us uh, a few tools to practice and, and, and be connected with one another. Um, I liked the connection between the artists. They seemed uh, like they were really um, engaged and um, kind of hit, hitting on all cylinders. But I really liked the first girl that sang that had the more glitter in the black silver jacket on. She was amazing. If those are her original songs, she was very talented. I was very blown away by the words that she actually sung and the meaning behind them. So. Um, I think also the first part, it really just amplified the whole everybody got connected when you and then when we got when we did the ohm yeah that was really empowering and then how we can always get to, like we get to the bottom where we feel like we've lost all hope and he proved to us that that's when we usually find that spark and i think that's really energizing and to see everybody up on stage creating magic off of everything that they love to do it's amazing yeah favorite part oh you can't pick a favorite part it was all wonderful Oh. The piano. Oh yeah, no, I do Loved have a favorite it. part. Yeah, the the uh, acro couple. They just got married two weeks ago. I think every moment of dancing. I think my favorite part of the show was the the couple and the woman that uh, was on the ribbon. The favorite part was the contortionist dancer. I liked how she was uh, how she did that. <laughs> yeah, the aerial one. Yeah, and I love the aerial one too. Oh yeah, uh, a lot of the poetry, the poetry, uh, the gentleman that came out and talked about the universe and the universe's first words, and that was very powerful for me. Another part that I was gave me goosebumps is when we all, as an audience, did the ohm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Afterwards, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it was good, very good. Uh, but the whole thing was great. I work at the Veterans Administration, and I work with veterans on being mindful and being present in a way to deal with their chronic pain and issues like that. So all the stuff that was kind of touchy-feely, I loved. <laughs> and we were sitting front row, middle stage, so it was, it was a great experience for us. biggest takeaway from the whole show? Say yes. Mm, absolutely, yeah. That was the one, his, his uh, call to action of let go of something. Mine was let go of saying no without having a clear yes. The biggest takeaway for me personally was um, to take time to like take a deep breath and um, and engage in the world around you. Yeah and I think the poet that talked about um, like you you don't have to explain yourself to people that have their own peace. Yeah. Yes. And I am for sure taking that away. The statement at the end where they where he said, "What's one thing that you're ready to let go of?" Yeah, yeah. that was pretty impactful. Yeah. Get you thinking. Flow. Yes. Flow. Let go. And yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes is the most powerful word in the language. Oh, I would recommend anybody to come and see this. That's awesome. Because uh, if they don't know what the yoga part of it is or the yoga flow they can learn it from this basically the show I was just explaining to them before you came up that if I had known how amazing it was going to I knew it was going to be amazing but when I came and actually watched it first firsthand if I could bring my son to watch it I think it could be transformative for him he's he's nine years old and um, just starting to dabble in the piano and I think that if, if you guys do come back which I hope that you do that we should try to market it to the younger generation so that they can experience it. Because I think we need more of this music and art staying in the schools and in the community, not being pulled away from it. And this is a great opportunity to, to embrace that. So, Yeah, absolutely. It was a, a great opportunity to see a combination of strength and art and um, just a well put together show. I mean, you really have no way to complain whatsoever, you know, even if the the lady wants one thing and the man wants another, you've got something for everyone, you know? So even if you're a critic, you're gonna enjoy it. It's gotta be heel appropriate for them. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, yeah, yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a skirt, you know? Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> 
sure. This yoga instructor over here. I'm just gonna do that one. Ah! <laughs> 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 